Hi guys, welcome to Tea Time Friday. Tea Time Friday. Tea Tea Time Friday. Oh my gosh, guys! I need to I need to share this with you as soon as possible, guys. I'm sure you noticed I don't have my orange mug. Guess what? Um, so there's this store called Ruby Store. I'm sorry, Alka intro it on Friday had to be cut short because I saw the mug and then I got distracted. Anyway, um, so she t I texted her and I wanted to look for a book for my friend, like a gift for she was, she's le she left Sunday to get her like something. Me and my friend, of, another friend of mine. So when I texted her, she was like, "Oh my God, I love your time Fridays. Um, I'm gifting you with a mug. Choose a mug that you want." Guys, do you know? There's just something else about getting free things, man. I was so happy. I was so touched. I went to her shop on Friday and I got the mug. This is it. Guys, go and check out Ruby's gift store on Instagram. They have amazing things. They have amazing gifts for all types of people. For like your mom, for your um, your dad, your friends. They're really cute ideas and especially a Christian bookstore at that. So check it out. Alright guys, let's pray. Today I'm having, before we pray, today I'm having Bushara my cup here and this biscuit that i stole from somewhere anyway i didn't steal from my shop i stole from someone yeah anyway i'm not sure anyway so uh yeah uh we are going to pray and let's get into it father i thank you for this beautiful afternoon evening actually thank you because you've given me an opportunity yet again to share my life experiences with you people in jesus name i pray amen yes I'm sure it's out there like my nails at least the hair is done so yeah we are conquering one mountain at a go one mountain at a go we're going bigger every day anyway <laughs> so guys today I feel led to share about temperaments and I'm sure you're asking yourself Priscilla what are you going to say about temperaments hear me out so um uh, two years ago two years ago actually wow it's been two years i got to carry out the temperament test with our team uh crmi you can check out the other videos where i work so right now i'm specifically working in the medical department but before i was part-timing i am part-timing and i was part-timing the admin department oh my gosh i actually liked admin you guys you know i did medicine but i actually also like admin work yeah i really do I really like admin work. I don't even know how, but I think the older we grow, we discover things about ourselves. I'll talk about that another time. That's a very interesting topic too. Next Friday. Let's write that down. Will I remember? Probably will. Guys, whenever I do that, I, I usually don't remember. Like, I'd be like, yeah, you know what? I Something comes into my mind and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll do that in like the next hour. And then the next hour comes and I have forgotten. Anyway, so two years ago, we took a temperament test, and this was a, actually, actually the best thing about this temperament test was I'm going to put the link in. In can I give the link? How 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 can I? Oh, I have the soft copy. Hmm. I don't know how I'll get that to you guys because I'm sure some of you want to know. But anyway, this lady, there's this amazing lady that um, my parents and our administrator actually connected us to. So we carried out this temperament test and actually what they do is when you discover a temperament it aligns it with someone in the bible who had a similar temperament and they'll describe um that let's say king david because mine was aligned to king david and honestly i felt like i could resonate so much i think that's why i loved psalms i liked psalms since i was a kid but like now i even loved it more because i don't know i even loved the book of psalms i think maybe because it's the first book i read with my mom like our mom used to make us read it and like i think that's why not make us like by but like should encourage us to read it and it was one of the easiest books to read when we were younger yeah this combo slaps i have to first forget about this otherwise i'll not talk <laughs> anyway <coughs> anyway so i ended up taking the personality test and guess what it was if you know this you should put in the comments what you think it was but i'm already gonna tell you the answer but be honest if you do know if you don't know it's fine but it was sang male sanguine and melancholy right but the melancholy one was so small the most is sanguine i'm sure that's very obvious for people who know the personality um tests and temperaments i'm sure you already know that that man this is a sanguine 100 percent i can't argue with that 
So like lately, this week, I've known that for the past two years and I'm like, I got to know our strengths and weaknesses and everything. But lately we did another one with um, one of the, the people that we talked to and they gave us a different one from a different perspective now. And I was so challenged because I saw the strengths and I saw the weaknesses and I was like, oh my God, this is me. Of course, there are like two things at least that weren't that I didn't relate with, but the rest, you guys, it was really me. Like if you read those things, like this is free Sarah. So I was, I was like, oh my god. Um, I, I, I went into a cup, a cup point of like, not sadness, but like as or quakingera. I don't know what quakingera is in, in English, but I was like, hey man, this is how people see me. Like the weaknesses of the sanguine. I was like, oh my god, this is how people see me. Like inconsistent. What? Guys, on the Twitter, I've been suffering with inconsistency. I think I even mentioned it. In, I, think, I don't think I mentioned it. I mentioned prioritization, but inconsistency. And it's not like I want to be inconsistent. It's not like it's me. Okay, it's not like I want to do it, but it's just that sometimes you can make a plan. You can say something out of excitement. And then after that, when you go home, you're like, oh. or like the day comes, maybe I say, okay, maybe I tell you like, oh my God, I'm going to buy this. And then time comes when I promise to buy that thing. I don't have the money. You get, or maybe I had separate and then something comes up. The bad thing is something always comes up. So lately I've been telling myself, Priscilla, keep quiet. Even if you're so excited, even if you're so happy, don't promise anything. Guys, promising and keeping promises, I know for a fact that I've been struggling with that. And it's not like I do it on purpose, like, uh, I'm sure no one does it on purpose. It just happens, like, things happen. Either I have a poor prioritization scheme somewhere, like, there's a loophole, I'm sure. That is the reason why I'm struggling with this whole thing of, like, um, and in the area of inconsistency. Like, I can proper make plans. I'm like, oh my god, yes, next week, let's go. Next week comes. First of all, maybe I'm walking up on the wrong side of the bed. Then on top of that, I don't have the money. But now already Bambi, your friend is already started. And then like, do you want to also be afraid to feel like by now every time she's not spending on you? Guys, so that's the things I've been thinking about this week. And even yesterday I told myself, I'm like, sorry, I need to stop making promises. Like, I wish I could just learn the art of keeping quiet. Like, just keep quiet. If you're excited, keep it in. Or at least if you want to buy something, you buy it first than you tell that person. Because by now, the promises that are pending are so many. It doesn't be that many of promise. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to do better. And I probably forgot that promise, I'm sure. This combo, huh? My neck. Mm. Anyways, guys. So, um, yeah. I just, I was like, okay, watch it. Cause I remember the city and Fridays are for sharing. Like, what's going on in my life, man? There's no structure really. Like, I share what God has put on my heart. Like, what I'm committed to put to share is what I share. So guys, I've been there, I'm like, man, I don't want to be those people who are inconsistent and people can't rely on you. To get people can't rely on you because we're of your inconsistency. People can't trust you. They're like, ha, ah, well, that one come, but like, I don't like that. Because even me, I know I don't like inconsistent people. I don't know if I'm also inconsistent, man, I get really good. So guys, yeah, baby, that's, um, I encourage you to take your uh, temperament test. It really helps because you get to know. Sometimes, me, as those people, like, I... I wanted if people used to ask me like what do you like um tell me about yourself i didn't know what to say because i didn't know how to comprehend my personality but when i read the temperament thing i was like now i can understand now i can comprehend what i who i am and what i feel and how i do things so yeah i really i think it's a really good thing for you to take a temperament test number one you get to know about yourself more and also you get to know the areas where you need to improve and you get to know your strengths you get to know that color for me what day I can't, I'm not a social butterfly, but when it comes to analysis and when it comes to problem solving, I am good at it. And I'm like, okay, me, I'm a, I might not be good at analyzing and everything, but I'm good at bringing crowds together, which together. Then there you can even know the type of groups that you thrive in. But it really helps with your interpersonal relationships. You get to understand people more. Like, you get to understand and give them grace. Like, because me now, me, I like, I'm open. I like it to open up. I like to, like, talk and what. But now you might find most of my friends are maybe the opposite or actually most of my friends are also like that you get like we like to share we like to open up what but then you might find your future partner is not like that and then now you get to understand that it's a balance because you need someone who will listen but also you also you you need to learn to listen because just because your partner listens all the time doesn't mean that for them maybe they have nothing to say mm. 
it's not that. My point is, sorry, I'm using partner examples, but <laughs> okay, let's even feel friends. Cut it, but you have a season I'm in, so I was feeling like that was gonna be the topic for some time. Anyway, guys, so my point is, I encourage you to take one. If I manage to put a link in the bar in the if I manage to put the link in this thing, I'm going to figure out how to put the link in the description part. I th I'm sure I can. I just know that I have that file on my email. I don't know if I can copy the link though, but I am going to find a way of getting that. And make sure you answer the questions honestly, you guys. I'm going to do an, should I do a part two of temperaments? I'll see uh, as the spirit leads me. But uh, if you want to give feedback, you can give feedback on the comments. I always try, make, it, make it a point to reply. I might respond late, but I still come and reply. So you can be like, officer, I read about myself and this. And we can share and talk about it. Okay? All right, guys. Um, yeah, please be honest as you answer those questions. When I, don't answer what you'd ideally want to be. You answer what you are right now. Not who you want to be. You say it there. You get wrong results and then you go moving on a different temperament and you think that's who you are, but it's not. And remember, this doesn't mean that that is that let, don't let this box you because at the end of the day, God defines who we are. Watch together, but these things just help us in our day to day life to know that okay, my character, what and how can do better because then God gave people wisdom to create these tests. But don't fully I tell you, lie, don't make it an excuse for you when you outburst, you're like, you know, what me, I'm choleric. This is how we do things. No, you guys, don't do that. That is not good. Don't don't use this test to the to your to a bad benefit. Okay, ask God for wisdom as you do that test and how it can help you do better. Trust God between through that, throughout this process. Guys, I gotta finish my bushy. <laughs> I have to go back to black tea because this thing is going to make me gain weight. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. May God bless you, who, you who has watched these videos and you and you support me. Thank you so much. Um, may God bless you. And if you feel like this video is gonna help someone, please go ahead and share. Don't don't be shy. Share it with someone. Um, I really appreciate you and we'll meet next Friday. May God bless you. Shout out to Ruby's gift store again. May God bless you and may God reward you, Father. Thank you for this these few moments that we've shared, Lord. I thank you for whoever is watching and Lord. If they do take the personality test, Lord, I pray that you open up their eyes. I pray that this video helps someone be a better person, Lord, to find out about who they are and their personality and how they can be a better uh, child in your eyes, Lord. And I pray, Father God, that you give them discernment, Holy Spirit. I bless this video in Jesus' name. Amen.